Russia has transferred dozens of T-90M pro-RIV tanks from the Sertolovo training ground to St. Petersburg. Russia was transporting armored vehicles in broad daylight to deliver them to the front in Ukraine as quickly as possible. This indicates significant losses of the Russian troops, which it is rushing to restore at the expense of reserves. The Atesh partisans recorded the movement of enemy vehicles along the Finland railway bridge. We continue to track the numbers of the cargo platforms online together with the armed forces of Ukraine. The next batch of Russian armored vehicles will soon again turn out to be a pile of rusty scrap metal, as it was before, the report reads. Sir Tolovo is a tank training ground located approximately 1,300 kilometers from the front line. Military unit number 71717 is based in the settlement near St. Petersburg. It is a training center where Russian soldiers are trained who then serve in tank and motorized rifle troops. Once described as the best tank in the world by Vladimir Putin, the T-90M recently hit a milestone that raises a few questions about the Russian president's appraisal. According to the open source investigative project Oryx, 100 of them have either been destroyed, damaged and abandoned, or captured on the battlefield of Ukraine. It's not Russia's top-of-the-range tank, but it may as well be. That dubious honor goes to the T-14 Armata. According to reports, there are around 20 Armatas in existence, but Russia has yet to deploy them to Ukraine. This is highly likely due to the reputational damage of losing the prestige vehicle in combat and the requirement to produce greater quantities of main battle tanks, which can only be satisfied with other variants, British Defense Intelligence wrote. As it is, the T-90M is the most advanced Russian tank deployed to Ukraine. The first T-90 first entered service in 1992 and the T-90M is the fourth iteration of the model entering service in 2019. The T-90 essentially combines the proven chassis of the T-72 with the advanced systems housed in the T-80 turret. Martin J. Doherty, weapons expert and author of Aircraft, Tank and Artillery of the Ukraine War, told the Kyiv Independent. Russia lost at least 100 T-90M tanks, according to the open source investigative project Oryx. This includes those that have been completely destroyed, damaged and abandoned, and five incidents when they were captured by Ukrainian forces, Oryx found. There have been several notable examples captured on video. In January, a T-90M was destroyed by two US-supplied Bradley infantry fighting vehicles in service since the early 1980s. Some have suffered even more ignoble demises, like getting stuck in a crater. The T-90's defenses were developed to counter traditional threats and are less effective against the new generation of top attack weapons, Doherty said. Ukrainian engineers have found a smart solution to neutralize Russia's hunting anti-personnel mine, which consists of up to five standard anti-personnel mines and a special sensing device to control them, a gadget dropped from a drone, according to Forbes. The sensor is capable of detecting human footsteps from 90 meters stroke 300 feet away. When spotting anyone approaching the minefield, long before they are even aware it is there, hunting selects the nearest mine and triggers it. In July, Russian military blogger Combat Engineer wrote on a Telegram channel that the Ukrainian military came up with a solution against hunting a metal cylinder with a spike dropped from a drone. The hunting series was originally developed back in the 1970s to make minefields deadlier. Sappers were getting better at detecting and removing or destroying mines, so a new weapon was needed to disrupt attempts at tackling a minefield. The hunting system consists of up to five standard anti-personnel mines and a special sensing device to control them. The usual type are OZM-72 frog jumping mines, which are normally actuated by a tripwire. When triggered, the frog throws a grenade into the air, which detonates at waist height throwing shrapnel with a lethal radius of 25 meters. Hunting can also be rigged with MON-50 Claymore-type directional mines or the POMZ-2 mine on a stick. The device has the name Artemida 
on the side, which is a Ukrainian name for the Greek Artemis, the goddess of hunting. The mill blogger said that Artemida emits a series of pulses imitating human footsteps to fool hunting's sensor into firing off all its mines harmlessly and disarm it. Artemida depends on identifying or suspecting the location of a hunting minefield, but its primary advantage is striking before anyone gets close enough to detect it. Earlier, the security service of Ukraine said that since 2022, mines and other explosive weapons have injured thousands of Ukrainians and killed 297 people. Many of them were children. Investigations revealed that the Russians purposefully set up mine traps near or within populated areas in combat zones. To camouflage these explosives, the invaders use various everyday objects, including children's toys and candy boxes.